Well, we know families are packing up and heading out of town for spring break, and it seems to be the perfect time. COVID cases are down and restrictions are easing, but doctors warn another surge could be right around the corner. Our Lauren Costick shares tips from doctors on how to stay safe during your family's trip. Spring break travel is picking up as COVID restrictions are lifted and popular destinations are booked. It all comes as states see a drastic drop in cases. We're watching the numbers each day. We're really happy to see them as low as they are, so that's great. Again, we'll expect a little bit of a bump, but I don't expect anything drastic. Like many health officials, Shandy Durth with the Fairbanks School of Public Health is preparing for the slight increase in cases, reminding Hoosiers to not let their guard down. COVID is still there. We haven't eradicated it, but the numbers are definitely better. And again, we still encourage everyone to be vaccinated and boosted. Despite this surge in travelers, many businesses and resorts lifted their mask mandates, but the TSA extended its mandate another month after it was set to expire in a few days. If you're traveling through or to a place with medium or high transmission levels, you might want to consider wearing a mask too. That's because after last year's spring break, Indiana saw a jump in cases. At one point last March, the state was reporting more than 1,000. Now that number is less than 300. I think we're in a better spot right now for a spring break. But Dr. Belcher says it's still important for families to be prepared. That means if you are eligible, get vaccinated or boosted. Also look at the COVID infection rate for your destination. Try to limit your time indoors and in crowded spaces and get tested before and after traveling, whether that's an at-home test or in person. So it should be pretty easy, quick, painless to do. As travel resumes to pre-pandemic levels, health experts say have fun, but also be smart. Pfizer is expected to seek authorization this week for an additional dose of its vaccine for people 65 and older. The FDA and the CDC must approve the request. Currently, Pfizer is authorized for a primary series of two shots, followed by a booster months later.